this is Cookie here. Um, this mini tutorial, I'm going to try and show you how to make uh, use the shader effector to make this LCD moving ring effect, which is quite useful for a lot of other things. But it's just a, I think, a fairly good way of showing it. So just close that down, and uh, better save this up as something first, and I'll just overwrite the previous file. That's better. Right, start off with a, a sphere, make it nice and small. Also, I'm going to turn the uh, segments down. And with Alt uh, held down, go out to Mo, Mo Graph, then choose Clone our Object, change the mode to Radial. Because I want a lot of uh, spheres to be made like an LCD board, I'm going to change this to 360. And the radius to 5990. And we're going to stick it on the XZ plane. That's better. Right, but that uh, gives us one level of spheres, but obviously we need to make a whole band of them. So the way to do that is to uh, keep that cloner highlighted, hold down Alt, go up to MoGraph and select another cloner. Leave it on linear, and this time I'm changing the count to 19. And the step distance on the Y to 110. That should give us a nice band, which it does. Just come back a little bit on that. Right, now I'm going to add the uh, go up to MoGraph effector and add the uh, shader. So it's the shader effector. Um, now when you first add that, that won't do anything. But if you go to the uh, cloner object effectors panel and drag the shader into that, that's it. It will suddenly increase in size, which shows that the uh, shader effector is having an effect. Because by default it has scale in there, so turn that off, because we, we're going to be using colour for this and uh, also make sure it's affecting the first cloner by also dragging it into its effectors panel that's it now we're going to need a couple of materials firstly one for the lettering which is the uh, material which is going to the shader is going to use to actually uh, mask the objects. So I've created just a simple um, JPEG with a logo on it. I'll change that to plain so you can get a quick idea of what it looks like. In fact, I've got it open there, so that, that's all that is. It's straight out of Illustrator. Uh, now we really want it to around the other way so that it's black lettering on a white background and that's quite easy to change. If you open up that little triangle next to texture you'll see down here you've got uh, black point zero, white point one. If you change that around the other way and make it black point one, white point zero it has the effect of reversing it which is uh, what I'm going to need for this. So drag that onto the shader effector um, right, we're going to change, uh, highlight the uh, the actual uh, material tag there, and under the tag we're going to change the mapping to cylindrical. Um, the V offset is going to need to be 50% for this. And then if we go to the actual uh, shader effector, we need to make sure that color mode is turned on, that the use alpha strength is ticked, and so that it knows what it's using, we need to go to the shading tab here and tell it which channel we're using. And we put our uh, the shader that we want to use in the color channel, so that's in there. And then we can. Uh, in fact, we don't even need to drag that into the uh, texture tag, do we? It's already working, so I shall leave that. But what I do want to do, because that's running around there twice, 
is make that, um, I think that will be the length U here, 50%. That's it, because I want uh, the logo to repeat twice around there, so we've got uh, two tiles in the U direction on there. So you can see how that's starting to have an effect. Now we need to make the colour material, and to do that, we grab another material, and in the colour channel, we go up to texture, down to MoGraph, and multi shader. Open the multi shader bar there. And then under shader 1, go to color, and then we should choose a color for that. And this is in effect, it's the background color for the ring. And then uh, use the back arrow to go back. And on shader 2, also choose a color. This could be any anything you want if you're following along. But I'd like to use the uh, purple and the orange crayons, they just give a nice contrast and that colour goes onto the the cloner objects by going onto the top one. Now on the display you'll need to make sure you've got enhanced OpenGL alive and hopefully that will have an effect. This poor machine is uh, struggling a bit with the cinema, but there you go. So that's uh, basically given the effect. Now we can go back into the uh, shader effector, and if you go to the parameters panel, at the bottom you've got the visibility tick box, and if we tick that, that purple lettering will disappear, and we'll end up with the actual object being mask which is quite a, a shock when I first tried this out and it actually uh, affects the, the objects and not just the colours. So uh, there you go, that's pretty much done it. Now all we have to do is to animate the thing and I'll show you how I did that because there is another step in this to get that um, a round and round effect of the lettering which is worth seeing. So the way it's animated is the actual uh, cloner itself stays where it is. What's happening is that the lettering is moving around and that's by changing the offset down here. So what I've done is on the first keyframe offset that set that 50% uh, and I'll put a keyframe in there just control click that little dot and if you go to the uh, frame 90 at the end of the animation I'll change that back to zero. And again, control click to make another keyframe. And now just check our settings here. We need to output it to whatever size you want to make it, don't make it too big. We need to make sure that we're going to render all frames. Um, I don't actually want to save it as such, but we can save it to the uh, viewer here. So make it a quick time movie, and that's uh, ready to go. But there's one more thing you need to do to get a smooth uh, animation out of this, because by default, when you do that from keyframe to keyframe, if you press uh, Shift F3, you'll get the timeline come up. If you click on the little uh, button there, you'll see the shape of the, uh, the the animation and this is sort of showing the speed of it so it goes really slowly then goes fast and then slows up again towards the end so as the thing goes round and round it goes slow fast slow fast now to get round that you click on the on the line uh, go command A to highlight both of the uh, keyframes and then right click and change the uh, point mode to linear so that it maintains the same speed from end to end which is what that's indicating and now when you come to render that out it will be the same speed the whole way through so I'm going to ignore that and you can see as it renders hopefully it won't take too long but you get a constant uh, speed. 
and that's how you get the uh, LCD look. Obviously, I've uh, rendered it there with the uh, using the um, color sh material shader to actually get rid of the uh, cloner object. So you've got holes where the lettering is, but you could just leave it uh, with the multi shader with the two colors. But it shows how flexible that is. I mean, you can imagine what you can do with uh, different shaders to actually affect objects and get some very uh, interesting results of sort of flickering colours and uh, abstract patterns whizzing around as well as something straightforward as a type like this. So that's uh, 90 frames almost done. Should better just hit go and there we are. Hope you enjoyed playing with that and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye then.